Howdy! Aloha! What's up YouTube? Thanks so much for returning to watch another video of mine. This is gonna be a really fun one because you guys voted on this and the results are in. For my last air gun video, I showed you guys all my new air guns and asked you to vote which one you wanted to see me use first. And the winner was this beautiful Legends MP right here from airgundepot.com, which you can find more info about this one at the link below. So today I'm gonna run you through literally everything from like its features, kind of like borderline review, but also how to use it. And then what's so cool about this, you guys, is I told you, I'm always super honest with you guys, I'm super new to air guns. So if I do a little mistake, if I mess something up, if you recognize it, if I recognize it, we're kind of learning together. I think I have it down because I've shot this one many times, but still, like I said, I'm gonna go through step by step how to use it, why to use it, and so on. All right, let's get started. Okay, first thing I wanna show you guys is about like how to shoulder it and the cool feature about it. So this button right here, let's see if I can do this semi-gracefully with one hand in front of the camera. So you push that button in, all of a sudden this comes all the way out. Very cool. Unfortunately, you guys can't feel it through the camera, but let me just be honest with you, this thing is heavy and I carry big guns all the time. This thing is on another level heavy, solid metal build, um, minus like very few little plastic pieces on the gun, literally solid metal. So they really did an amazing job like making it be like the real thing, weight and all. Now it is a BB gun and it is fully automatic. So what is so cool about that is it is very hard, near impossible to get a fully automatic gun in the United States and um, sadly, but you can kind of cure your fix by getting something like this, which is how it's worked for me. Like now I have a full auto gun. I can literally go into my backyard and go, you know, and it's so fun. Okay, next I wanna show you a couple other things on it. So I'm a lefty, which is why I always hold stuff like this in case you guys didn't know. Um, it does come with multiple magazines. Same thing with the magazines, they are heavy. They go in just like that. Literally like putting the magazine in and removing it feels exactly like the real thing. The safety is right here on the bottom and it has a sight up top right there. So now the tricky part, we are literally going to load this. I'm going to load this for you guys right now in front of you and then we're going to take it outside. So it comes with this little tool here that you're going to use for your magazine. Okay, so little hint for you guys. I'll show you here what I did. Um, I was having a hard time getting it off at first, which means, you know, last time I probably did it a little tight. Also, I deal with guns all the time and I have small, like, not so grippy hands. So what I ended up doing was I put the magazine into the gun and that gave me more leverage to put my knee on it and twist it and now it's off no problem. So just a little interesting fact that kind of makes it a little easier because I was just trying to hold the magazine and get this loosened and I was struggling. That scared me. <laughs> Okay, so this is the little cap that comes off. No reason to be scared, just humor me. <laughs> okay, so once that comes off, so I've used all these magazines before, like I said, I've shot them. You'll see that these come out. Now they go tail to tail like that. And these are used CO2 cartridges. So I'm gonna put these aside and I'm gonna get two new ones. I'm going to use this little gel right here, Pelgun oil. I'm going to take each of these, just put a little dollop of Daisy on each of them. In fact, I'm just going to stick them together. Don't make a mess. You guys know I like to make messes, so I'm just going to like Stick them together, share the love. And then I'm gonna put them in the same way I did before, like this, and like this. And then we're gonna put this cap back on. 
get my little handy device and we're gonna twist it on. Now, we're kind of gonna hear like two little air releases. I, I don't know if you guys will be able to hear them, but I'm gonna listen close for them. Okay, I heard them. Now that is ready to go. Now we gotta put the BBs in. So. So how you're gonna do it, this is the back of the magazine here. It has this little loading device. You're gonna pull that all the way down and hold it. Now, um, something that's really cool about Air Gun Depot is they're actually located in Utah. So I was able to learn about these guns and shoot them and practice them there um, with my friend Abby, who knows a ton about air guns, and she's actually really, really good with air guns. Something that Abby and I found when we were testing this gun was that air guns are kind of like, um, everything in life. can be like picky or particular to certain things. For example, I've done some muzzleloader hunts. Muzzleloaders, I don't know if you guys would agree with me, are like the most finicky guns. So is archery. Archery's really finicky. But my muzzleloader, I shot literally a, def a dozen different combinations of bullets and powder and primers and everything until I found the exact one that like worked so well with my gun where I had good groupings way far out, but it took me a while to figure out the specific like recipe that that gun wanted and everyone is different. This gun is the same. When I was at Aragon Depot, we realized this likes the Hornaday Black Diamond BBs. So there's 1,500 of them in here and this holds over 50, which is awesome. So I'm gonna pull this down, right? We got a good grip on it. Great idea, Bridget, cut your nails. My nails are recently cut. I'm just gonna try to do this as gently as possible. Can you guys see? Okay, so this one is loaded. I wanted to film all this stuff inside so that the audio quality was good. As we get out there, if it's a little windy, I apologize. I live between three mountain ranges and the wind gets a little crazy. Since I know you're all gonna ask, yes, Brookie is here. And yes, she's sleeping her day away like she does every single day of the year. Every day of the year. Beautiful day out there, huh? So beautiful. I'm showing you this as I'm taking you literally right out there. <laughs> but here, look at it through my window. It's great. Okay, I got the target set up. Right now we're gonna make two rules when shooting full auto. Rule number one goes along with shooting anything. Eye protection. Shooting loud guns, most guns, ear protection for sure. You're gonna find out that this actually isn't very loud so I'm not gonna use ear protection for it today, just to be honest with you. Eye protection is a must. Rule number two, this is very important you guys get your notebooks and your pencils and your papers ready. Notes on your phone, whatever app it is. When you are shooting full auto, you need to do a full mag dump every single time. Absolutely no exceptions. No exceptions whatsoever. Okay, let's get her loaded. Okay, so obviously this isn't all 50 rounds. Um, had some technical difficulty at first. So, you know, aiming at it right away, you wanted to start shooting. My advice would be give it a second to like get the BBs through everything because what happened was it wasn't going through. So I was looking at it, trying to figure it out. And then I realized that if I hold it down for a while, then it starts to go. So, well, not a while. Just hold it down a couple seconds, and then all of a sudden the BBs will start going out. So what happened was I took it off target for a second just to watch what was going on, and that's how I figured that out. And by the time I did that, I only had this many BBs left for the first magazine. 
So check that out though, pretty cool, huh? Like. You can see how it just scatters and this happened literally in a, mat in a matter of seconds, which is so cool. Alright you guys, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. No, don't leave. <laughs> that was fun to shoot that gun. I'm definitely going to do more with that one in the future. Like I said, I'm still new to it, so every time I shoot it, I'm gonna get better and better and just take you guys along for the ride with me. Um, I'm gonna shoot that gun more, but I'm also gonna start working on the next video, which is gonna feature this gun here, which I'll overlay here, that has a silencer on it, and it's even more quiet than the one I just showed you, so while I'm already shooting my air guns, I'm gonna go take that one out and make a video for that. That was second, number two runner up for the vote, so that's gonna be featured in the next air gun video. That's gonna be a really fun one. It's a single shot, really cool, really old school. I think you guys are gonna like it. I hope you guys are all staying super safe and happy and healthy, and if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If this is an air gun you could see yourself using, definitely let me know. Remember that it costs nothing to you guys to simply like my videos, comment on my videos, and subscribe, and it helps me out a ton. And last but not least, like I said, check out the Air Gun Depot website below for more info. I will have it linked in the description box. Lots of good videos coming every single day to keep you busy during your quarantine. Thank you so much for watching, you guys, and we'll see you on the next one.